Hello Stillwater Area High School Mountain Bike Team. In this video we're going to review a simple wash procedure. Uh, it begins with setup. Uh, so if you're going to wash and you're here on a, on a wash day or a tune day, we're going to get some equipment. Uh, black buckets are going to be for the soapy water. White buckets need to be filled. Uh, that's with clean rinse water. We need our tables out. And we need our sponges out and of course our soap. Okay, that's the basic equipment that we need. Riders will uh, will get those out. So whoever's here first, or captains, assign who's going to move that equipment out. Over here we need the chain cleaning uh, bucket. We're going to try and keep all of this equipment always in the tub. It's very oily, um, dirty, so let's let's keep it all together uh, in, in, this, uh, in this tub. So you're either using it on the bike or it's in this tub. Do not set these around on the tables. Uh, this bottle is very important. Uh, do not throw out this bottle. We'll refill it. It's got a very nice nozzle that seals, so uh, always keep this bottle uh, for, for refill. So that's our basic equipment. Let's go set it up. So a basic setup that can be repeated with all, all the different buckets. We have our rinse bucket. It's going to be clear uh, water. Uh, the zip tied bottles mean do not drink from these bottles. They're strictly for rinsing with the, uh, with the rinse water. We have a, uh, a bucket. Uh, the black bucket is going to be for soap. Uh, that's going to be today. We'll do some lemon. So we get a, a good amount of soap in the bucket and then a variety of brushes. So sponges. If it's a cleaner sponge we want to use it for frames. If it's a really dirty disgusting sponge that's going to be for the drivetrain. So uh, here's an example of a clean sponge. Let's leave that one for the frames. So other brushes as well, including this one. It's a very stiff bristle brush, good for the drivetrain. So that's our variety of, of uh, soapy, uh, soapy water uh, uh, tools, sponges, and brushes in our rinse bucket. And on the table we have our chain cleaning uh, material. Let's use this bike uh, and walk through a basic uh, wash. Again, this particular bike did not have the disgusting chain. Uh, we'll do the disgusting chain on a, on a, on a later, later part of this video. Uh, but first step is we're just going to get a rag from our rags du jour box and wipe it off. Sometimes they come off. They come off because when I'm pedaling backwards, my hand is guiding the chain. My hand gets over one way or the other. I'm going to take the chain off the uh, off the front sprocket. So this one, we're just going to wipe it off, and that's that's enough for that chain. You may also want to wipe off the pulley some. This will really keep it from becoming uh, disgusting. So just a regular wipe with a rag. Uh, is often just the best the best cleaning here. Next step is to get uh, one of the bigger brushes and a larger sponge. Uh, this is for the frame. We're going to wash things down. What the sponge can be, the sponge is a soap provider, a soapy water provider to the brush. So uh, it's a bit like doing dishes. You have to get in there vigorously get the dirt off. Again, the chain I'm not going to be washing. This chain's not so bad. The, the sponge would not do a good job on the chain anyway. Uh, yes, breaks. This is no worse than being in the rain, so we do want to get all around the bike. Get some more soap out. The wheels. We can get both sides. That's good. 
We see some material here, some grass. Let's remove that as we clean. So the derailleur outside, we're going to get that clean. Okay, some of these areas are hard to get here. Let's go back to our little arsenal here. This is called a bottle brush. You can see how it's tapered. Uh, that's because they're good for getting inside of bottles, but for us, we want to get inside areas we can't clean. You see all the mud down there. Now it's coming off. Apply some more soap. That's good down there. So those little hard to reach places, bottle brushes is, is good for, for that. Let's go back to a different brush. This is a stiffer bristle brush outside of the chain rings, the pedals. So the back end, we're looking okay. I want that bottle brush again because I'm going to get to the rear hub inside. That's going to look nice. That looks good there. Pedals looking okay, cleared of mud. Underneath, a lot of mud under there sometimes. In front. It's a good example here. The bottle brush is not really doing such a great job. We need that wider, wider brush in front. Sometimes you can do some inspection. Check out the lock here. All these extra cables just looking to jab us. Let's get an end cap on that. That's some good notes. And the front. Let's get that front wheel. So where would you want some of the other brushes? Some of those especially aggressive bristle brushes uh, we may want on the tire. This tire does not need it. It's not so muddy. But if your tire is very, uh, very caked up, let's get in here. This one here, very, very stiff bristle. That's when we're coming along our tire. Uh, it's an example of when you would use that. So the front end here, I don't want to be scrubbing inside these shift levers. We try and avoid that. We may just wipe them off with a rag, but I'm not going to be scrubbing here. Handlebars and stem, yes, and even the grips. If we've fallen in the mud, we've got to clean the grips off. Brake levers are not a problem. So again, the shift levers are what we're, we're trying to avoid here. Let's get another bottle brush up underneath the saddle. So I think this one's looking pretty good. Let's take that bottle out, get inside here. Yep, missed some spots here. And while we're noticing work, whose bike is this? I don't know. We don't know. We don't know the name on the bottle. Get a name on the bottle. Rinsing is next. We would now do some, some, uh, some rinsing. Take your clear water. We start at the top and then dribble down. So you can see here, we're just getting the soapy water off. All right, don't start at the bottom, start at the top. There we go. So tire here, we need to apply some water. And it's doing double duty by dripping down along the brake and along the frame. So now I need to refill. Pedal. Give that a spin. Back here. Just a couple spots there. So you can see the bike's looking a lot better. A lot better. So we're not blasting it with a with a high pressure hose. Again, this is no worse than a Minnesota gentle shower might might be. So That's the basic rinsing and cleaning. You may want to do one more bottle's worth, but 
uh, that's that's how it looks. Last step would be to uh, take it out of the stand, bounce it one more time with the rag to dry it. Uh, before you leave for the day, make sure you get some lube on, uh, on the chain.